Here we go. All right. Well, my name is Christina. I am the owner of Big Head Cartoon, Caricature Art and Entertainment. So I'm here to draw your caricature. Have you guys ever had this done before? No. No, first no. time. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're doing great. Super easy. <laughs> awesome. As long as you don't run away, we're going to be just fine. And uh, now, did my screen change so you can see yes. me and the paper and everything? Okay, awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, this is super easy. You guys keep breathing and talking and blinking and all that good stuff. And I'll let you know when I need a big smile, unless you feel like smiling the entire time. Totally <laughs> up to you. But you can talk. And as long as you don't run away, I'm able to get you. So, okay. Byron, we're starting out with that fantastic hair. Thank you. <laughs> Both have great hair, actually. This is going to be good for me. That's my, uh, my favorite thing, a pair of glasses and good hair. Everything else uh, I get through, but I love drawing that stuff. Okay. So I know you guys have never had this done before. I grew up with parents that both did this for a living. So it was a very weird childhood. <laughs> <laughs> it ends up that you do it for a living too. I think that's just how it works. Okay. We are doing good. Where are you guys based out of? Uh, Fort Myers, Florida. Oh, very nice. Very nice. All right. Right now we're in Georgia, though. I was going to say, I remember thinking it was some kind yeah, of a right Georgia, Georgia Are you just uh, on vacation or just seeing family or picking Georgia? Oh, for the yeah, kind of both. <laughs> very nice. I know I'm trying to get out of here. I'm in Nashville and uh, originally from Buffalo, New York, though. I relocated here about three years ago. Uh, I'm also in the music business, so it worked out. This is a great town for me, but then, you know, a pandemic struck. So <laughs> it's been interesting to say the least, but we've, uh, we've been really lucky that we, we developed some virtual entertainment programs like this, and we've been able to, to do really well in a very strange situation. That's for sure. All right, Byron, we're looking good. We're getting the eyebrows. We're getting the hair. Do you do live music? Uh, we do actually, uh, my partner Scott and I are in a pop rock duo called Breaker Box. And we, at the time before the pandemic struck, we were um, developing a concert series that we did back in Buffalo. Uh, we teamed with Heineken and Red Bull and we would do, um, it's called Life of the DIY. So we would feature other, you know, kind of up and coming artists and musicians that were all independent and entrepreneurs. And so it was cool. And we had just, uh, we had just literally gotten funding for it here in Nashville. <laughs> And like three days later, the pandemic hit. But luckily, you know, we didn't take anybody's money yet. So that's always oh, okay. <laughs> that would have been cool. <laughs> but we, uh, I've always done caricatures too. So I've had big head cartoons since about 2009. And I started out really small in Buffalo, just kind of drawn at local restaurants. I would go table to table and talk to people because I grew up waiting tables and bartending and all that stuff. So that's how I started. And before I knew it, we had nine years had passed, but we had all these artists that worked with us and bloom artists and face painters and all that good stuff. And we relocated to Nashville and uh, kind of kept growing. And then unfortunately with that, in one day we lost everything, but I, I know I'm not alone in that situation. So we, uh, we pivoted quickly and created the big heads and beats virtual caricature art party experience. So it brings live caricatures like this and also a live drumming DJ. Huh. So it was a, uh, it was just kind of, I don't know. I still don't really know how it all happened, but we've managed to, <laughs> to do this. And now we've become a kind of a global company. We entertain people all over the world and, and folks like Byron find us and reach out, which is always good. And it's fun to draw people's cartoons. It's something I've always loved to do. All right. We are starting to look like a big head cartoon, Byron. You're doing great. <laughs> You're doing great. All right. So how long have you guys been, been together? Two years and... It's very nice. Almost. It's been a an interesting two years, I'm sure. That's did you meet yeah. post pandemic or before the pandemic? Oh, if you we met ninth grade, something like that. Oh, oh really? Like so you've known each other forever yeah. then. That's awesome. And love came later. I like it. <laughs> yes. A lot later, yeah. <laughs> right? Now me and my guy too, we were he was the drummer in the band I was in for five years. And then we became a couple and we've been together 17 years. Wow. So it worked wow. out. I was young. <laughs> <laughs> but I felt well-traveled enough. I definitely didn't feel like uh, I, knew, I knew enough. I'm like, this is the guy. <laughs> okay. 
I know I really date myself when I say how long we've been together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I got one of people who think I'm 25. Okay, we're doing good. We're going to do a little shading here. So as you can see, I don't do any real psychotic features. I just give you a really big head, little <laughs> tiny body. I try to keep it nice. It's all right. The little body always works for me. Right? <laughs> I found that to always be the case. That's why it's called big head cartoon. I've never met one person that was like, oh, you made my body. Yeah, that is so cool. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, the shading stuff is really, uh, it brings a lot of good stuff out. Okay, we're doing good. That is fucking cool. We got a big head, nothing He's personal. still ugly even in work. <laughs> no way. All right. No um, way, yeah, it's like you're adding makeup. It's cool. Right. Like contouring. And, <laughs> and that's all with, with the uh, um, mouse, or do you have like a pencil? Um, I actually have a, it's kind of like a pencil. It's a Wacom tablet, a Wacom tablet. I say it oh, okay. properly, so I've been told. Um, and we have about about 10 artists on staff now, and we all kind of use different stuff, like different programs. But I use uh, a Wacom tablet and uh, Photoshop. And then this is just another software that shares it on the screen so that you're able to kind of see it all in real time. And then when we do virtual caricatures, we have multiple artists that kind of entertain in the same place. Like right now, there'd be 50 people. We just did an event for Amazon yesterday that was a hundred people. So we brought 10 artists and everybody goes crazy and draws as fast as we possibly can for people. <laughs> and uh, we, we do a good job, but everyone has the software. So you can kind of watch the <laughs> artist and watch who's being drawn. So you can kind of torture coworkers. It's, it's a good time. <laughs> I'm not doing that hair any justice. <laughs> it's definitely not long enough. Let me see what I'm doing here. Let's get that one. My face is a block. <laughs> sure. It is. <laughs> people always wonder, like, they get, I mean, some people have had, you know, everybody's had different experiences with caricatures, but a lot of people think, like, the artist is mean. I'm like, I've never picked on anybody. It's always the <laughs> person that you're sitting next to <laughs> that picks on you the most every time. That never fails. I was just wondering, I was like, cause my face is kind of round, but it's kind of long at the same time. <laughs> oh, I feel like yeah, it was a little more long. You actually kind of similar to me. I have, <laughs> I can get there. <laughs> <laughs> but we're, I'm flattering characters. You have a, you have a good face for sure. You see, I've seen a lot of different faces. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay. We're looking oh. good. All right. We have a head. We need a face. No, a Most important part. <laughs> so are you guys originally from florida or, or did you meet in, in georgia or what's the he's story? from puerto rico and i'm from uh new york oh you're from new york very nice me too what part yeah. of new york from the city uh yonkers yonkers all right i knew some people in, when i lived in uh i lived in ithaca when i was just out of high school and my my neighbors were from yonkers my accent from Buffalo gets pretty intense. I've actually control it when I'm doing something like this. I never got a New York accent. I guess I left before that happened. Oh man, I sure did. I didn't think I did. And then I moved to Tennessee and I'm like, oh my God, I sound like Tony Danza. <laughs> <laughs> and you have brown eyes, correct? Yeah. Okay, just double checking. Well, what did you say? That they're... <laughs> What did you say my eye color was? Like the uh, mud or <laughs> did you say uh, there's a black lake? <laughs> I forgot what you said. It was just like what? It's like a black sea color. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Spoken with love. <laughs> I know my, my guy has brown eyes and they're like chocolate. And I have like greenish blue, which I'm I'm all right with it, but I love the brown eyes and he's got he's got some good ones. They actually make me want to have like treats. <laughs> like, it looks just like drama. Right. It depends on the day. Okay. We're doing good. She's already smiling. We got the dimples going on. Very important. <laughs> I always wanted dimples. My mom always told the story that I would sit on the couch and just push my cheeks in. I guess that's how I thought it happened. <laughs> so you did it all the time? <laughs> Proof that I was just a weird kid, really. <laughs> that I even got obsessed with that part. Because I have a lot of freckles. My father is a freckle. So I definitely got those. And uh, I wanted the dimples. That's what I wanted. It didn't happen. Apparently it doesn't work. You just look like a nut bar sitting on the couch, <laughs> pushing in your own cheeks. Okay. We are getting there. She's starting to look like a big head cartoon. 
Okay. So we got a couple more little details here. Are they all walking around like a like a limbo line over here? <laughs> There's a limbo line. Wow, you guys are having a different day than I am. <laughs> uh, it's a little cold. It's a little good. Our limbo line is going to go real fast. It's freezing out here. The whole family went inside and now they're like going around in circles around the house. It's kind of weird. <laughs> that is spoken like a man from Puerto Rico. <laughs> I'm from Buffalo. It's 62 here right now in Tennessee. I'm like, this is amazing. It's March. No, I think it's like, or March. It's February. Oh, my gosh. It's 40. I think. It's 54 right now over here. That's a little nippy. Yeah. At night, it gets to like the 20s and it's fucking crazy for me. Yeah. Oh my gosh, for sure. We had a, a our attorney actually said that. He was like, I got scared that it got so cold. We're like, please. <laughs> I'm from, it gets so cold. It's stupid. Okay, we are looking good. We have two big heads. We're going to work on a couple little bodies, but I know that Byron did have something else he wanted to ask you. So let's see. Before we go forward. Stop. Yes, baby. Yay. <laughs> I'm about to say, aren't you supposed to put it on? She said, baby. <laughs> she, saw, she had to see the ring first. Oh, is that why they did a limbo? <laughs> yeah. No. I, I, <laughs> there no, we go, our guys. Bodies we're already drawn. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're all ready for you. <laughs> well, you guys, congratulations. You are officially <laughs> engaged and a big head cartoon. <laughs> I hope you like it. Byron, I'll make sure to email this to you. You can print this out, download it, print it out, frame it, share it, do whatever you'd like. Use it as your, your uh, engagement announcement if you'd like. I appreciate you guys calling us and, and letting us be a part of that. Uh -huh. <laughs>